What is going on, everybody? How do I look? Do I look great? Thank you. Um, yeah, it's been a while with the big camera. I had a, two little small videos, but we are actually in the Dirty Girl today, and we're getting rid of the whole interior, not just the headliner. We're getting rid of the whole interior. Today's video is basically um, ripping out the interior, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to change the look of your interior on a budget. So if you're on a budget, like myself, you know what I'm saying? I don't need no millions, I got bills. I got bills to pay y'all. Um, I'm gonna be dyeing the carpet black because I'm gonna be doing the uh, black headliner. It's gonna be kind of the same material, not really suede. It's gonna be kind of the same material as this uh, cow print. So kind of fuzzy, I guess you'd say, but like very low cut fuzzy. It's not like over ridiculous. And um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So we're heading to O'Reilly's right now and we are skirt at a stop sign and we're about to head some get some torque bits torque bits excuse me and uh for these uh seats so sit back relax and enjoy today's video thank you all right just got back we have duplicolor vinyl and fabric all right i don't know where to put these i don't know where to put my hands but i've um, got three of these um didn't have three gloss black so i'm probably gonna lay this um matte black down first and then finish it off with the gloss black and um about to get rid of this nasty carpet right here i kind of want a two-tone uh theme anyway so that way when i do the headliner like i said i'll have black headliner and then tan I'm gonna do um, this black, this black, um, this black. I'm gonna get all that professionally done. Though. I'm not gonna be doing it myself. And then I'm gonna be getting a, a dash mat and some other simple things just to button up the interior uh, slightly. Also had to spend a ridiculous amount of money on these. Um, but I did want these for a long time, these swivel bits. And I had to get a $7 adapter, three quarter to half inch, or three eighths to half inch, excuse me. And then I only needed a 20 and then an 8 or 16, excuse me, uh, for these seats. But, of course, my luck. They only had these in half inch, so I had to buy that $7 adapter. Whatever. But, um, so, basically, I'm going to be keeping this receipt because that's what good boys do. Um, we're going to be taking apart this interior, like I said. We'll probably start with the back seats. Uh, first, hopefully I can snag me a set of bucket seats uh, from a Yukon or excuse me, Yukon XL or Suburban, something along those lines, so that way I can have the captain seats in the rear. That's what I really want. I really want to see if I can find some before Myrtle Beach Truck Week. But yeah, um, let's start to get tearing out this interior. Whoo wee, boys! I just, I don't even know. <laughs> I just um uh took off the wrap to the old bumper and um yeah oh you shout out to the people who robbed me like loki like you may have took in or excuse me taken sorry grammar nazi you may have taken all my stuff but guess what i bounced back i bounced back even better bro get out of there boy get out of there boy i see it get look at that brand new milwaukee's Brand new, brand spanking new Milwaukee's. Look, we gotta use our uh, fancy dancy seven dollar adapter already. But uh, let's try her out. Oh my god, <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> Now, that is satisfactory right there. 
All right, now for these, you're gonna wanna disassemble these two 13 millimeter bolts here and the two 13 millimeter bolts here to separately take that one out. And then what I did is folded this uh, seat part up and then the backrest down and then tilted it up long way so that way I can slide it out without uh, damaging too much stuff. So. Just like that. Now we have our whole rear interior up. I gotta come in here and take off this little stuff. <clears throat> and then this should be separated up. So then I can take this carpet out after I take the center console and these two front seats out. All right, so this is gonna be a T20 or E Torx 20. Come in here and get this inside one right here by hand. All right, once you do that, you come over here. All right, I'm coming in here and getting it loose with hand first because I, I don't have an impact, I just have this uh, impact driver, not the impact wrench. But should be able to get the gist. And uh, this is a 14. A, a, T a Torx 14 okay so I was told they were 16 but I was mistaken mm -hmm. <laughs> all right and after you unhook your harness boom pop it up like that bam then pick her up on my up and then you're ready to rock and roll. We got some quarters. All right, same process for this side. All right, that will do it. All right, got the whole interior ripped out. Um, about to grab the shop vac, vacuum it up real quick before we rip it out. And then I vacuum the bottom now. Ordering some kill mat right now and I'm not gonna put the carpet back in until we get the kill mat down because I kind of want to sound dead in the um, cab okay and then while I'm at it I'm gonna be doing the roof as well uh, when I pull out this headliner so should be some pretty good sound differences in here and yeah don't be worrying about the pillars either how they are you know all jank and whatnot I'm getting a triple gauge cluster right here and then I'll probably be getting this painted when I get this and that painted and uh, you know all the side stuff. I've been through some bad situations. But it's gonna stink. Alright, now they got the carpet out. I'm just gonna go over it with some purple power everywhere. Especially in the heavy spots right here. With some rust and stuff. I've poured um yeah, I already pre-soaked it with the pressure washer. I got the 25 degree tip on. Um, poured some soap and OxyClean. And now I'm just gonna go over and pop everything with some purple power. Oh yeah, I'm selling my uh, stock wheels um, to my buddy John Kinsey. And uh, he's coming over right now. He's got a pretty clean LBZ as well. And uh, I think the stocks are gonna look good on his truck, so that's good for him. I got the uh, 16s still, so we'll have something to put some boggers on or uh, mug grapplers.
Booskar? What do you got to say about the Booskar? Alright, so we're going to start off with this uh, Duplicolor vinyl fabric. We're going to do uh, matte black first, and then we have two gloss black. To, thanks for walking over the carpet, buddy. We have two gloss black to go right over this. So basically, uh, we got the carpet all washed, pressure washed and dried as you've seen. And we're just going to be applying some coats. All right, got the first coat on. Um, do a kind of little light coat. It's gonna look patchy, obviously, because you're doing dark to a light base. So uh, just take your time and do uh, even, you know, just even spreads. And yeah, it should turn out pretty well once we get these uh, other two and a half cans on there. All right, just got finished with the second slash third coat. Um, there's gonna be some spots where you see tan at because you can't really hit it from every angle obviously you're actually painting the carpet you're not dyeing it so everything can't get covered a hundred percent but it looks a lot better than the dirty ass tan we had so we're gonna let this dry for a little bit and um, i might clean up some wires in there and show you kind of what it looks like but i'm not fully installing it until i get the kill mat on there and hopefully it's actually going to come a little earlier today um, if not it'll be in tomorrow and then we can slap this in all right, and as promised, um, our package came in, and this is the kill mat and my cute little roller. Okay, so this isn't really gonna be an install, but I'm about to just uh, obviously wipe down all the dust and stuff. And I got a leaf blower. I'm actually about to just blow everything off. Um, I'm gonna be going from back here all the way up to as far as I can where it sticks. Um, however much it covers and then probably a couple squares on the roof as well. Alrighty then. So we got everything down here. Uh, <coughs> sounds solid. I put four pieces, one, two, three, four up there and then three and a half pieces uh, back here while I had extra and then I didn't take off the air ducts or anything, but um, the rear is what I was most worried about anyway. So we got two pieces on each floorboard basically, uh, one on each side of the console, one under there, and then the rest is on the rear. So um, looking great, uh, super stupid easy to install. So um, let's put this carpet in now. Give you guys a little sneak peek of the brand new seats. Alrighty, there you have it boys and girls um, carpet turned out pretty good um, like I said you're gonna see some coverage or some lack thereof coverage should I say um, and yeah you can see the dynamat through all this I'm not too really worried about that uh, I did take the insulation out because it was wet but I uh, got the new seats in there that'll be on another video uh, I'm not covering those too much but carpet turned out good um, if you are putting your seats back in and everything, um, and if you're running low on cans, I would suggest spraying heavily on areas that you will see, like, such as the floorboard and stuff like that, rather than stuff under the seat. <clears throat> but, yeah, I don't think it turned out too bad for, um, what, what is it, like $30? So, paint your carpet in $30, change the whole entire look of your truck. Um, now everything's going to be really dark in here especially when i put that uh starlight headliner up there um the black headliner that's gonna look real nice and as well as when i get all these uh accent pieces uh professionally painted black i really can't wait uh this really changed the look of the truck a lot um just these seat covers and the carpet um and i'm really i might try and hit a junkyard tomorrow to find these captain seats so cross your fingers for that but uh yeah if you guys did like and enjoyed the video today's video make sure you like and subscribe bottom right hand side of the video it really mean a lot to me we are on our way to 4,000 subscribers i really appreciate it and as always have a great day